students, welcome back. This is our chapter two. But I have to review your first chapter first. We learn about Mr. Basketball, Michael Jordan, in our last chapter. There are three winning qualities of uh, Michael Jordan. One is everybody has the right to be successful. Number two, try to use the setbacks to be your driving force. Number three, try to rise to the top. And have you learned it? If you have learned it completely, I think you will have a great career in the future. And today we are going to talk about another pastime. Shall we dance? By just uh, looking at the title, you know, that's from a very famous movie. And uh, it's uh, started by the Richard Gere. And it was a fun movie to look at. And today we want to have uh, some thoughts about the ballroom dancing. So I also invite a very uh, experienced and great dancer. Uh, I present to you uh, Robert Lee again. Robert? Hi, student. This is Robert. Great to be here. Yes, we always love to have Robert with us. Robert, have you ever tried ballroom dancing? Yes, I did. Yes? Do you like it? I like it. Mm. I remember uh, many years ago when I was in Boston, I signed up as a member at MIT, mm -hmm. Student Dance Club. And I study learning how to do ballroom dancing, such as uh, tango, rumba, waltz, cha-cha, Moringe, salsa, etc. Okay, that's good. That's uh, the first one we want to clarify is the definition of a uh, ballroom dancing. Actually, there are so many kinds of different dancings, like uh, uh, the slow movements. We have a uh, tango, waltz, rumba, and for the quick movements, we have a uh, cha cha, jive, uh, jiriba. Actually, it's been called swing in the United States. And uh, for the Latin, we have salsa. And also, we have the esqueta. That's a quick waltz. And uh, another special one is uh, pasadobe. Pasadobe means dou So maybe sometimes you can see them in the TV competition or whatever. And can you tell us what kind of benefits have you got from doing this activity? Well, I get a lot of benefit by learning how to do the ballroom dancing. Mm -hmm. First, it will help you lose your weight, okay. build up your endurance, okay. and also improve your physical coordination. Yes. Socially, Good. you will meet new people with a similar interest. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so we will talk more in our content. Now let's move to our first paragraph. Do you still remember the romantic moment when American President Obama danced with his beloved wife at his inaugural dance party? It is the dream for nearly every woman. What about what happened if one day you were sitting next to a handsome guy and he invites you to dance? What about what could you dance elegantly and confidently? Or would you feel awkward and embarrassed? Because you know nothing about ballroom dancing. To know how to dance is very important in Western society. In my opinion, it's part of their social etiquette. Students, I forgot to remind you that actually I'm a very good ballroom dancer. 
and I love it very much. I learned it from uh, maybe back to 40 or 50 years ago. And there's a big difference between the east, east and west about, about the thoughts of a ballroom dance, dancing. For the Asian, they, especially for males, they don't like their girlfriends or wives to have the ballroom dancing because they think it's uh, too physically connected to each other. But actually in the West, they think it's very polite to do this is a part of a social courtesy. So that's a big difference between East and West. And if you want to be a gentleman, please learn how to learn do the ballroom dancing. We will tell you why later. Now let's take a look at the vocabulary first. Number one. Romantic adjective. 形容词, 罗曼蒂克的, 浪漫的. I love to go see romantic movies. 我喜欢看浪漫电影. Number two. Inaugural adjective. 形容词, 就任的. James will deliver an inaugural speech on March 3rd. 詹姆士将在3月3号做就任演说. Number three. Elegantly, ebb. 副词, 优美的, 雅致的, Susan always walks so elegantly. Susan Number four. Confidently able. 副词, 自信的. Robert plays basketball confidently. Robert Number five. Awkward. Adjective. 形容词, 笨拙的, 不熟练的, she is still awkward with the chopsticks. 她用筷子还不熟练, number six. Embarrass, verb. 及物动词, 时窘, 时不好意思, 时局促不安. Author seemed embarrassed by the question. 亚瑟似乎被这个问题弄得有些窘迫, number seven. Etiquette, none. 礼节, 礼仪. This is the book on etiquette. 这是一本有关礼仪的书, and we have several words which is uh, similar to the meaning of uh, etiquette, that is uh, manners, courtesy, or protocol. Uh, now let's take a look at some of the useful phrases. Number one. In my opinion. 依我之见, In my opinion, the second project is easier to achieve. 依我之见, we have a one key point here. Number one. Ballroom dancing. 国际标准舞. Teresa is good at ballroom dancing. Teresa的国际标准舞, so this is the first paragraph. Students, let's take a break now. Hello, students. Welcome back. Let's start looking at the paragraph two. Robert, please go ahead. Some people think I am a natural-born dancer. Actually, I am not. I still remember the awkward moments I made while I was dancing in high school. I found that I have two left feet. 我发现我有两只左脚, I hated dancing at that time. 在那时我恨死跳舞了。I never thought that I could be a good dancer someday. 我从来没有想过,有一天我会变成一位很好的舞者。我们来看这个第二段的部分啊。I have two left feet. 一般人都有左脚跟右脚,但是当你分不清左右脚的时候,就是表示说, I have two left feet, so This is a true story of mine. I wrote this article, actually. And I was not a bone dancer, but somehow I learned how to move. Uh, so I will tell you later. Robert, are you a bone dancer? No, I don't think so. So how did you do that? How did you become a good dancer? Well, after I went back to Boston, because I want to meet 
the girlfriend and my friend told me one of the best way to meet a girlfriend is take a dancing lesson. When you're good at the dancing, then it's easy to meet a girlfriend. Okay, so that's why you took the dancing lesson. That's right. Mm. Did you meet a good girlfriend? Oh, yeah, some of them. Okay, good. Now let's take a look at the vocabularies. Number eight. Movement, noun. 名词,运动,活动. The security guard didn't see any movement on the video screen. 守卫在监视屏幕上没看到任何动静. We have one key point we just mentioned about. Okay, number two. Two left feet. 两只左脚表示不会跳舞,分不清左右脚. Jefferson has two left feet, so he always avoids joining a dance party. Jefferson总是避免参加舞会,因为他不会跳舞. Okay, now we start learning how the writer um, learn how to dance. Let's take a look at the paragraph three. Fourteen years ago, 十四年前, a great dancing instructor opened my mind and freed my body. 一位很厉害的舞蹈老师打开了我的心神，并解放了我的身体. After being tutored by her, 经过她的辅导后, I could dance very fluently and naturally. 我能够非常流畅且自然地跳着舞. Knowing how to dance really made my life more colorful and meaningful. 知道如何跳舞让我的生命更具有色彩和意义. There are three benefits of a ballroom dancing. 跳国标舞有下列三项好处. Students is really a good blessing if you can find a good teacher or a good instructor in your life. That will do you good for the whole life. And I was so lucky to meet one and become who I am today. And there are three kinds of uh, uh, different benefits from the ballroom dancing. I will show you later. Now, first of all, let's take a look at the vocabulary first. Number nine. Instructor, noun. 名词,教员,教练,指导者. Tina is a singing instructor. Tina is a singing instructor. Number ten. Tutor, noun. 名词,家庭教师,私人教师. His parents employed a tutor to teach him mathematics. 他的父母雇了一位家庭教师教他数学. Number eleven. Fluently, ever. 副词,流利的,流畅的. Estrella speaks French fluently. Estrella,法语说得非常流畅. Number twelve. Naturally, ever. 副词,自然地. Emma spoke naturally in front of the television camera. Emma in的时候很自然地说话. Number thirteen. Colorful, adjective. 形容词,富有色彩的,鲜艳的. We bought a bird with colorful wings. 我们买了一只翅膀色彩鲜艳的鸟儿. Number fourteen. Meaningful, adjective. 形容词,意味深长的,有意义的. Lillian just told us a meaningful story. Lillian Number fifteen. Benefits, noun. 名词, 利益, 好处, the new school will be a great benefit to the town. 新学校将给全程带来莫大的好处. Now, let's take a look at the paragraph four. The benefits, number one. It's good for both your body and your soul. 它同时对你的身体和灵魂是好的. A good dancer always looks marvelous and confident. 一位好的舞者总是看起来令人惊叹,而且充满自信. Your body gestures will improve. 你的身体姿势将会因而改变. And you will look more elegant. 并且看起来更优雅. Also, you will feel good about yourself when you dance with the music. 同时,当你跟着音乐舞动时,你对自己感觉很棒. You know, I used to dance a lot when my son was a little, when he was about five or six years. 
And after showing my dancing, he always said that, Mommy, why do you look so happy when you are dancing? And I told him, because I feel good about myself when I dance. And also when I dance, I dance into the music and it helps me to release every stress. And now my son is also a great dancer because he enjoys dancing too. He knows all of the benefits from doing it. And what about Robert? I know that you are a basketball player yep. and you are also a great dancer. Mm -hmm. Can you tell the differences between these two activities? Yes. The boring dancing, you need a partner to dance with the music. Yes. And you have to dress up. For the playing basketball, you can play alone or you can play as many as five or 10 people. Yes. And all you need is a pair of high top sneaker, mm -hmm. a ball or basketball coat. Yes, yes, but to me, uh, to have the ballroom dancing is um, more elegant. And you know, it's just uh, two of us to dance with. And for the basketball playing, it's more vigorous. It, it will make you sweat more, right? But both of them, you require the teamwork. Yeah, and also the brain basketball is a sport with a lot of running, jumping, shooting, and dribbling. Yes, yes, that's what I meant, more yeah, vigorously. That's right. Okay, that's good. Now let's take a look at some of the vocabularies. Number 16. Marvelous, adjective. 形容词,令人惊叹的,非凡的. Monica had the most marvelous experience. Monica Yogua很奇特的经验. Number 17. Gesture, noun. 名词,姿势,手势. That gesture is very rude. 那个手势很粗鲁. Number 18. Improve, verb. 不及物动词,改善,变得更好. Alice's English is improving. Alice的英文有进步. Now, students, let's take a break. Welcome back, students. Now we will learn the second benefits of uh, having a ballroom dancing. Let's move to the paragraph five. Number two, the spirits of a knight in the shiny armor. 第二,富有骑士精神. In the ballroom dancing, a male should have the spirits of a knight. 在国标舞中,男性应该有骑士精神. He is like a friend. 他就像个相框一样. To showing off his partner who is the picture. 炫耀着如同相片般的舞伴. The role of a male dancer is to show the best in his partner. 男性舞者的任务是展示出舞伴最好的部分. He acts as the leader and the protector. 他表现得像一位领导者和保护者. He cares about his female partner more than himself. 他在乎他的女舞伴多过于他自己. Only the two gentlemen can behave like that. 只有真正的绅士才会如此表现. Students will learn here that uh, we have a spirit of a knight. It means that uh, he treats women kindly and nicely without offend them. Uh, 这个骑士精神就是对女士非常的友善,有礼貌,而且不会去冒犯女性. And for this part, we say that he acts like a leader, and a protector, we will ask Robert, how do you do that in a ballroom dancing? How do you lead and how do you protect your female partner? Well, as a beginner, you have to work so hard to learn and good at uh, all kinds of steps. Mm -hmm. As a leader, as a man, it's your responsibility to tell your partner what to move, what step to take and where to move. Yes. And also, most importantly, you have to keep your eyes on your partner back all the time so that 
she won't clash with other couples. 是的，他会帮你领导到一个不会跟别人常常会撞在一起。那更好的就是他会把你最美好的舞姿给展现出来。Right? Yep. That's good. Let's take a look at vocabulary nineteen. Spirit none. 名词，潮流，精神，风气。You look rich in spirit today. 你今天看来精神很好。Twenty. Night, none. 名词，中古时候的骑士、武士，还有近代英国的爵士。Sir Lancelot was a very famous knight in King Arthur's kingdom. 在亚瑟王时代，莱斯特是位很有名的骑士。Students, be aware. Here, K, we don't pronounce it. So it pronounced just like a knight. Number twenty-one. Frame none. 名词，框架，框子。I want to buy this special picture frame. 我要买这个很特别的相框。Now let's take a look at a very useful phrase: show off, 炫耀。Robert, can you read the sentence for us? Carl likes to show off. By wearing this red hat, Carl 喜欢戴红帽子炫耀。You know, sometimes Robert loves to show off too. He loves to wear the colorful scarf on his head and the sunglasses on and dance like a crazy. He loves to show off too. Okay, now let's take a look at paragraph six. Number three, the harmonious pattern of the good dancing. Is also applicable to your real life. 第三，舞蹈中的和谐方式也可以适用于我们的现实生活中。When your dancing partner steps forwards, 当你跳舞时，舞伴向你前进。You have to step backwards. 而你必须后退。And vice versa. 反之亦然。In the real life, 现实生活中 ，When your partner is angrily shouting at you. 当你的舞伴生气的向你吼叫 ，What should you do？ 你会怎么做呢 ？Shout back， 吼回去 ，Or keep quiet， just back off， 或者保持安静的离开 ，And leave a little room for each other to calm down， 给彼此一点空间冷静。In our daily life， 在我们日常生活中 ，Couples can learn a lot from the theory of harmonious dancing。伴侣可以从和谐的舞步理论中学习。You have to be sensitive and wise enough. 你必须能够敏感而且聪明的。To know exactly how to move and when to move. 知道要如何移动和何时移动。Then you and your partner won't clash with each other. 这样你和你的伴侣才不会互相产生冲突。It will lead you to a more harmonious life. 这也将引领你到更和谐的人生。Students actually, I love this paragraph most because it is so applicable to our real life. The most important thing is you have to be wise enough to know exactly how to move and when to move, so that you won't clash with each other. And let's take a look at the vocabulary. Number twenty-two. Harmonious, adjective. 形容词，和睦的，友好的。The couple enjoys a very harmonious relationship. 这对夫妇目前感情很融洽。Number twenty-three. Pattern noun. 名词，形态、样式、格局。I like the pattern of the wallpaper. 我喜欢这壁纸的样式。Twenty-four. Forwards, ever. 副词，向前。Tracy moved her car forward, so she wasn't blocking the driveway. Tracy 把车开我往前开，才不会挡住车道。Number twenty-five. Backwards, ever. 副词向后。Claire looked backwards when she heard the crash. 当 Claire 听到碰撞声，她向后看了一看。Twenty-six. Sensitive, adjective. 形容词，灵敏的，灵敏度高的。This sensor is sensitive enough to pick up any signals. 这感应器很灵敏。可以接受任何讯号。Twenty-seven. Wise, ever. 形容词，英明的，明智的。You are wise to join the club. 你加入俱乐部是明智的。
28. Exactly. Able. 副词，确切的，精确的，完全的。Tell me exactly where she works. 确切的告诉我她在哪儿工作。Twenty nine. Clutched verb. 不及物动词，碰的相碰撞声，或者是发出铿锵声音。Their opinions always clashed, so we never got anything done in the meeting. 他们的意见总是相左，所以开会总是没有结果。Now we have our four useful phrases that we will introduce to you. Number three, be applicable to. 是可适用的。The rule is also applicable to study. 这规则可适用于读书。Number four, vice versa. 反之亦然。Claire dislikes me, and vice versa. Claire 不喜欢我。我也不喜欢他。Number five. Calm down. 安静下来。The crying baby is finally coming down. 这哭泣的婴儿已经渐渐安静下来。Each other. 彼此。We like each other a lot. 我们很喜欢彼此。And we have a key point for you. Uh, number three, a little room. 一些许的空间。Robert, the sentence. There is still a little room for improvement. 还是有些许改善的空间。Students, be aware of the little room. Here, the room is an uncountable, uncountable noun. You don't count them, okay? And we will start reading our last paragraph, paragraph seven. Last but not least. 最后，但不是最不重要的。Try to learn new things, no matter how old you are. 不管你有多老，试着去学习新的事物。Stop saying. 不要说。You can teach an old dog new tricks. 老狗变不出新把戏。After learning useful tips and practicing continuously. 经过学习有用的窍门和持续的练习。We will become better and better. 我们将会越来越好。Most importantly, 最重要的 ，we will enjoy our life more and more. 我们将更能够享受人生。Let's dance, shall we? 让我们跳舞吧，好吗 ？Okay, students, it's a very good ending here. So we hope that you can learn things every day, and you can grow more and more and be a better and better person. Now let's take a look at the vocabulary thirty. Continuously, able. 副词，连续不断的，接连的。He kept coughing continuously. 他不停的咳嗽。And we have two last key points to share with you. The number four. Last but not least. 最终，但不是最不重要的。Last but not least, she is the kindest woman in the world. 最终，但不是最不重要的，她是世上最仁慈的女人。Number five. You can teach an old dog new tricks. 你不可能教会老狗新把戏。Students, I think you always can learn new things. And today we are talking about the ballroom dancing. I hope that you can take it a shot, try to learn it. And it's about time. So we will see you next time. See you. See you.